Hello, everybody, and welcome back to some more Tournament of Shame Presents. Is that the official name, Tournament of Shame oh, Presents? Yeah, 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 Tournament of Shame. Oh, God. Uh, uh, Dead by Daylight. episodes with this, without this controversy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, me, Rob, Nick, Bear, Ryan. Let's do this. Um, I'll be Bing Bong right out the gate. Yeah, On my side, Mathis isn't in the game, so we'll see what happens. It'll, it'll be fine. It's a visual bug. It's happened before. This game like is... No matter who's the killer... We always have two Jake Park, two Claudette Morel. <laughs> <laughs> There's other characters? <laughs> well, you got to unlock them. Yeah, oh. yeah. It's called the double-double strat. Rob had me real, like, he was lying to me before this video started about there being a real smoky bear that died. And then we yeah. come to find out together that it was a real thing. And now yeah. my whole fucking world's turned upside down. In fact, they tried to make a Smokey the Bear dynasty, and in the Wikipedia article, they wanted to pass on the title to his future descendants. I'm, I'm kind of paraphrasing, but that's basically the word. They tried they to breed Smokey Bear, the real one, not like the cartoon character, although that would be like a lot weirder if they tried to pair a, a male cartoon character with a female <laughs> one, but it didn't work out, so they couldn't quite make it. That's a reality out. show I would watch. <laughs> that was like something that happened in Drawn Together. But no, but it like, happened in real life, and they couldn't get them to procreate, I guess. The bears wouldn't fuck in, yeah, like, Groundhog bang. Day, or, like, like the actual concept of Groundhog Day, right? Like, that's not the same Puxatani Phil. No. Yeah, well, yeah, there's been, like, several. But they just sort of don't talk about it. I thought the last one, that like, bit the mayor, and then they shot it. Yeah, they killed him. Yeah, but then the next year, there's blood. just a there's just another Puxatani Phil. Wow, you guys, we are a good team. Why, yeah. why, if, why if a groundhog bites the mayor, do you have to kill it? What did it do that's so unnatural and wrong? If you oh, bite nice. one little mayor. Don't be mad at me for that, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet if it oh, didn't you know, bit like a, a fucking plumber, that You can't be mad at me for that one, man. You just can't. If you bite Joe the plumber, what are you nobody talking about? shit. <laughs> no offense to plumbers. I feel you should definitely be vindicated if a go for bites you you're oh, like boy. dude it's a, it's a working man it's just another day in the life of a working man you're supposed to get bit man's supposed to keep you down yeah. nobody's gonna shoot your groundhog what the fuck does the map do it does literally nothing it, if you're not in he's radius still of here, any, he's still here he's still here if you're not in radius of any generators it literally does nothing but if you are it shows you through walls he is now coming out because he spots you yep. yep 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 yeah. Yep. Well. Yep. Oh. What are you baby. doing? This is bad. Why <laughs> not, though, like at least unhook me, Jake Park. We're yeah, in this together, man. To that, I guess. <laughs> I mean, you were you got close enough to smell my shorts. <laughs> Ew. Yeah, that's not good. You just well, got stabbed and hung on a hook. Like, you probably shit like, yourself for sure. Have you guys ever uh, saluted your shorts? Yep. I've also been given an awful waffle. Oh, what's that about? They put a tennis racket on your belly, and then they pour he's, uh, maple syrup. He's still syrup. in the area, but you might be able to make a play. They pour maple syrup over the. Yeah, tennis he's dropped me, so belly. he's he's dropped bear, so he's coming back to me. I be yeah, yeah, I realized, but I feel like Ooh. this is still a good play. That was pretty much my bad honor. Oh fuck! Try to <laughs> I'm like I'm trying to hit space on you, but you just keep inching away from me. <laughs> Yo, I am gonna be dead, so like. No, you, you're gonna go into immediate spacebar mode. You should, I'm just saying, get generators, because I'm immediately dead. Actually, wow, that's weird. That's not supposed to happen. I don't well, know he was in spacebar mode when you saved him. I thought. Yes. Oh, so, so if you make it to spacebar mode. Yeah, oh, it counts as like getting. I guess yeah. Oh, this is a that. problem. Sorry, I didn't give you a proper heal. It was a little hot over there. No, I really you, feel uh... like the save mechanic like it needs to be easier mm, how do you know mean? because there's like in the rounds that we play it really seems like instead of saving somebody if you just work on three generators at the same time your odds of winning are like quintupled yeah yeah, Maybe, yeah. yeah. Say that's saving is just not worth it, man. In uh, multiplayer like, games, like anybody you throw on a hook is just ignored for the most part. Yeah, that's what I think yeah. it's like. But I thought the survivors were definitely in the better, stronger position. Well, they you are, are in the stronger position, especially when someone's on a hook. Of you, if one quarter yeah. of you gets put on a hook and the killer just watches them, then you get three generators for free if you yeah, right. do the quick time event. Also, apparently, like at the highest levels of play, the best killers pretty much just camp their one kill that they can get. 
because the survivors will be able to just, uh, you know, do the infinite window thing. If you talk about the infinite window thing one more <laughs> Hey, I got it in one of my videos. He's right next to you uh, there. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you you're down there, clever piece of <laughs> shit. <laughs> Come on, Bear! I would yeah. like to point out that when the rest of us are still level 20, which is not the highest level, it's the lowest because in French Canada you count backwards. But <laughs> we, we start the game, or we start the Discord, and Mathis is like, so I was playing Dead by Daylight last night, I unlocked like a bunch of new perks. I didn't use any of them! I took them all <laughs> off. I took every single perk off. Things are not looking great right now. Yeah, he's, he's coming towards, uh, he's not by our hooks currently, he's searching you, for you. You try to talk to Mathis on, uh, on Skype, and he's like, nah, I'm going to bed at 6 p.m., but actually he's just soliciting <laughs> I'm just grinding fans out. to play Dead by Daylight and get his practice in. <laughs> Holy shit, Bear, that's amazing. Blood Bowl all over again. Bear got off the hook. Hey, attempted escape. Good job. Thank you. Yeah, excellent work, Bear. Thank you. Good work, Preston. Hey, Bear, what's M1. up, buddy? Hi, bud. Okay, okay. Well, <laughs> that was short lived. So, did Nick save you or did you get off the hook yourself? <laughs> oh. I'm, not, I'm not even going to talk to you. <laughs> 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 you don't deserve any more additional information. I just want to know, man. <laughs> no. No, nah, that's a good point. Freeze him out. Oh, no. Wait, is Barry Insta dead? Wait, wait. Oh, uh, probably. You went past like a hook that was. Right I know, there. I did. I was looking for Nick. Oh, uh, okay. Here's the thing. Nick looker. Yeah, he's looking for Nick all the time. All right, yeah. You, if you want it that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Chance does Nick? Did Nick end up finding the secret hatch? Is the question. That is the question. What's the answer to that? <laughs> I don't know. That's a very good question. Yeah, it is. You guys just so, can't keep talking in circles like that. What's, what's the about? answer? <laughs> it's a good question. Oh, what a good question. What <laughs> a good <laughs> question. The answer to that question would be good. Freeze, Agent here. Michael Skarn. I was gonna ask again and if it was a good question, but I think we're done with that now. What game are we talking about? Giant. Giant. <laughs> <laughs> cabin of giants. There isn't even a giant cabin in this one. Yeah, I don't think so. This oh, is man. this is the blood field fury I road. I really right? wish there was just like a static camera option. <laughs> are you loving it right now? Oh, I'm having a great time. <laughs> Sorry. Try this in the Vive. Yeah. I would vomit. Yeah. Definitely would be done for like six hours. <laughs> See, for me, if I get motion sick in the Vive, I'm done for a few days. Oh God! You've only had it for a few days. It's already. Are you or just it should I say days? VR sickness in general? Oh, okay, I get you. What the fuck? It can oh. actually like. I don't think people who don't get motion sickness easily understand that you're not just like nauseous and then you you just take the headset off and then you're oh. fine. Oh, oh, oh. You're actually like it ruins like hours of your time. Yep. Like I, I don't if, get motion sickness that easily though. Is it really gonna? Is that yeah. gonna do me? Well, no, I don't know. If it's, I don't care about you. I'm talking about people who have like <laughs> real problems with motion sickness. It's not just like you take the headset off and you're like, oh, I'm okay. It's like four hours later and you're like, man, I got a headache and I still sort of feel like I want to throw up and. Oh, and then if God. you think about it, for me anyway, if I even think about like the vibe, I'm like, no, nah, I'm gonna vomit if I don't. Yeah. See, that's what it's like for me if I think about Georgie vodka. <laughs> yeah, but I had that you with did hot that dogs for a while. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, any, any, anything afterwards. that's like, I can't think about this particular liquor is self-inflicted. If you, when you were a kid, did you like doing that, like sit on an office chair and then spin around a lot? Oh, God, no. God, no. See, I never understood yeah. people would be like, hey, sit on this chair and spin you around and then it'll be really funny. You'll be dizzy. I'm like, all right, I, I just threw up. Okay, what's next? <laughs> they did that shit in T-Ball, remember? You used to put your head on the bat and spin in circles. Yeah, that's like, oh. I think that's like an adult, like, uh, team building exercise when yeah, everybody from the office gets <laughs> drunk and plays t-ball that's not part of t-ball they're t-ball that's an adult creation oh. yeah see in new york the way that oh. we would play that game people are adult that, creations 
if, yeah. if you get dizzy after that, they just break your legs with a baseball bat. What? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's how it happens in New York, you know. You're not allowed to have inner ear problems? No, yeah, that's that's against the rules. That that, that results in a broken leg. That'll I teach thought you. our team needed a Dwight. <laughs> yeah, you're right. The worst thing ever was, like, when my parents didn't believe I got motion sick that easily, and they're like, just ride the teacups with us. Just ride oh, the teacups with us. <laughs> and then for, like, the next three hours, I'm just vomiting. It's the oh, worst. So Carnival rides are just based on spinning. Season. That's I do not understand. Like a roller coaster, oh, I get, if it's if it's like up and down doing loops, I'll get like a little motion sick. But after like two minutes, I'm okay. But if something spins around, oh god, yeah, I'm nope. done for the day. And people were like, "Don't be a baby. <laughs> <laughs> just make yourself throw up for my own amusement." <laughs> yeah, I'm lucky. Yeah. I haven't had that issue. I, I, I threw up from a ride once, and that was the uh, Back to the Future ride in, in Universal Studios in the Orlando. The one yeah. getting the DeLorean that it just sort of yeah. rattles a little bit? Yeah, yeah. But that was, I mean, I was like six, so. Was that tied to the Gregory Vodka incident? Because <laughs> yeah, I've actually I've been on that ride. It doesn't even do it. No, it slams you down into the chair a whole bunch. I remember yeah. it. It simulates some movement. It, it does some weird well, shit. Oh, that's not going to help our calls right now. Um, or, you know, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. The, they do have the Spider-Man ride. The Spider-Man ride is fucking awesome. Yeah, I rode that one. That was pretty dope. Yeah, that, that one's fucking sweet as hell. It was like a three-hour wait, though. But yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, I hear was... you, but I'm gonna try it anyway, and I'm gonna say that that was worth it. The um other thing is you guys ever been on the mummy returns ride on no. universal okay that one is just the roller coaster but it's an indoor roller coaster um but it has this one part where it does the thing where it slow rolls you up a hill bear. spoilers for the ride I bear guess. dog bear 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 dog bear dog <laughs> roo, roo, roo. so it slow rolls you up wait a what thing the fuck you think you're gonna go forward oh you're dude you disappeared forward. on my screen <laughs> yeah that was that was my strategy i was gonna try to go into the basement and then disappear on your screen <laughs> <laughs> um, I remember I was at Disney World when I was like 10 years old and I remember somebody told me a story that someone got decapitated on Space Mountain. Oh, mm. come on. I don't know. I heard the same I story did. about the person who got decapitated on the Superman ride. I think that one actually happened, the Space Mountain one, though. Yeah? I think I should so. really look into it because this is the first time I've remembered to look into it since I've been like an adult. You know yeah. what? You are a tall guy, so it's more yeah. of a pressing concern. It really scared me a lot when I was a kid. Yo, Space Mountain is actually kind of a terrifying ride because it's really old, so it's like it's shattered. It's like it's kind like, of hallucinogenic. Oh, too. hello. They like throw you through a bunch of fire rings. Yo, but what? I didn't what, hear your heartbeat. For what the, is going on with the Mummy Returns ride that slow rolls you up a hill? I've got to know. <laughs> Okay, it's like when Dan was like, hey, I interned with the Detroit Lions, and then we interrupted him like <laughs> yeah, eight times, and, and he never us. finished the story. So it slow rolls you up the thing. You think you're going to go forward, uh, and then you stop at the top, and then the ceiling catches on fire, and then it throws oh, you back, no, backwards. Fuck. Yeah, it's kind of terrifying. And then you feel the fire, because it's real fire. It's like a foot above your face, and it's terrifying, and then you get thrown backwards. Uh, I've ridden that Jurassic Park ride for six-year-olds like ten times. And it yeah. scares the shit out of me every time. Oh yeah, where you go through the Tyrannosaurus's legs and shit? Like, it's scary. I wish you could have seen what those birds just did, because it was very odd. Mm. They did like a loop through the tree. But if they do a loop, they loop. Good job, Mattis. Thanks. No. It's, it's being weird. But yeah, the um... Yeah, no, the Jurassic Park one's cool. I missed the Jaws ride. The Jaws ride was sweet. Mm. They, got they still that. have that at uh, Universal Studios uh, Osaka, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. But oh, it's awesome. it loses a lot of its charm mm, if you don't tricky speak fellow. Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> like, the dude is giving the presentation, and he's, like, talking in Japanese, and then I'm, like, completely on knowing what's going on, but then mm. a shark pops out of the water. Yeah, and he blows it up with a, with a uh, fucking missile launcher. Sweet. Actually, I gotta say, is uh, you're a hero, by the way. Um, I gotta say the uh, the watch McCall. Well, you know what? You can uh, you can heal me right now if you wanted to. But there was a slim chance maybe I snuck in before you walked up. But then again, the blood was probably on the ground. I heard the door open. Yeah. So um. I'm so defeated. I never even wiggle anymore. <laughs> <laughs> the Harry Potter section is fucking oh. awesome. 
Yeah, that's I'm, the only I'm reason I want to go anymore is for the Harry Potter thing. But that ride also came real close to making me throw up. Yeah, that the ride for that is like it, it's it's like nine doing circles around me right now at the base of this hill. Ah, uh, fuck. They like they have a screen that shows you stuff, but then also it's a roller coaster that moves and like pivots around its axis, so you kind of like flip upside down a little bit. So uh -huh. sometimes you're like. I'm looking at real shit right now, and sometimes you're like, this is a screen, but there's like wind in my face, and the, the brain is just like, you know what? Do not try to do it. Call it's me gonna when get it's you. over. Do not. That yeah. was the ride where, after we went on it, there was like a Japanese uh, gift shop who was just like tripping over the shelves and stuff, and the lady was like, are you okay? It didn't <laughs> let me struggle. It just inst instantly killed me there. Whatever. That's weird. Uh, did, so in the Japanese one, did they have the butter beer? Yes, but we didn't get it because the lineup in typical Japanese fashion was about 300 years long. Dude, like you had to get the fucking but the butter beer is so good. But what? Oh, is he he dropped me. He dropped me. It's like uh, it just it's like a butterscotchy milky drink thing, and it is fucking delicious. I mean, that sounds pretty cool. Really good. The amount of people that have talked that thing up has made me want to go even more because all I've heard is that it's the most delicious drink. It's so fucking good. I don't even like butterscotch that much, but it was awesome. And it's it wasn't alcoholic, but I kind of wish it was. Well, I'm sure you could bring your flask. Yeah, well, but see, it would have to be like a beer, you know? Well, just throw some of that whatever the Williamson vodka you were talking about. <laughs> this, is, this is getting different names every that... time. Is that, uh, like, a reference to composer Harry Gregson Williams? <laughs> Gregory Vodka, Harry, or Williamson Vodka, Harry Gregson Williams? Uh, you know what? I'll just say that was the most sophisticated reference I've ever made. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't do that intentionally. There's also Popov, which is on the West Coast, and that shit's disgusting. Any alcohol that comes in a, like, plastic bottle by default. <laughs> You don't ever go to the wine store and look through like the little sampler bottles like they've got in grocery stores for shampoo. Oh yeah, for alcohol. Mm hmm. Oh, really? No. Dude, when I every time I'm in the liquor Arcades, store, there's the somebody that's like 65 or older comes in and buys like 20 of them. They're fun to they they they're a good way to taste new things. I think <laughs> it's a fun way to hide your problem from your family. Yeah, I think friends. that's what it is. <laughs> Yeah. Buy like four of those. They're not. They're not that much. You know. I've never bought a, a tiny swig. alcohol bottle. I always buy the regular size. The only time I've ever had them is when they come attached to a larger bottle, or as a sidecar. That just looks so tacky, though, doesn't it? Yeah, but it's then like, you like get a free razor with your wine yeah. bottle. It really worked in college though, because I was like, why would I buy the one that doesn't come with an extra shot if I could just buy the one that comes with an extra <laughs> shot? You That's know what's fair. great? Box wine. Because it comes yep. in a box. You can make forts out of them. <laughs> yeah. It's sweet. In Both Korea, there is, and figuratively. Uh, there's a brand of wine that was literally $2. And wow. it, did it taste it tasted, like it was literally $2? Yeah. It actually tasted like Kool-Aid and vodka mixed together. Which, to yeah. be honest with you, it might have been because I don't speak Korean. <laughs> yeah. This is some good shit we got going on here. Right there, right there. He's just uh, camping around my body, by the way. I pretty much refuse to enable Mathis' strategy. Pick him yeah. up and put him on a hook. <laughs> I don't know where I put him, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I want to go back and count that. how many times you said, I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's my new thing, man. Can you and say that you'll friend. lie to me? I'll be honest, friends. <laughs> I'll be honest. Hello, everybody. This is Alpaca Patrol. I'm very confused right now. <laughs> it is... What? Ryan, you are a juke king. I don't know what's going on. What it's just making about? explosive noises like you're around here somewhere. It's like a Pokemon juke king. Oh, you're right there. All right. <laughs> like, can the game not give you points oh. for saying subscriber or survivor found and then, uh, <laughs> like, making those big noises? It kind of makes the hide and seek element a little tougher to. Oh, Red Rock is not surmountable. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Thanks, uh, thanks, Behavior Games, for uh, <laughs> basically giving away my sweet Damn, stealthy dude. position. I just kept that was like so there was good. A, there was a bunch of yeah. there was a bunch of like explosions happening on my screen, so I don't know if, what was going on. Like, were you fucking he, up the generator? No, he I was, was not even working on the generator. I don't understand. It kept giving me like, hey, something's going on over here. 
So I kept yeah, looking over here. Bullshit. Maybe and I don't they patched in a way to like find the survivors that's more nebulous. I don't know. I just kept like I'm I'm like, what's happening? I don't yeah, understand. Actually, Nick, were you going in and out of the closet, by the way, in that one uh, no, a couple just, games ago? Just the one. Okay, yeah, see, because I got the same thing. I, I actually had the same thing. Where it was hey, like survivors are too easy, like they're way overpowered. What if we just make it so you can see them? <laughs> <laughs> just all the time. I don't know right, where well, you were, uh, Rob, but you got away from me. This is 80,000 times better than we are, so that's... that's yeah. <laughs> try hard. I'm a try hard, remember. No, you're not a try hard. You're just significantly better at the game. Yeah, that's 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 true. This dude practices. It's BM. Oh, all right, yo, hold up. When I say practice, <laughs> I play like one game a week. You're a full rank, one rank. You're in level us. 19, man. Yeah, yeah, that's at least 40 hours of gameplay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> When you realize it goes from, do we do one more? All right, I'll uh, switch yeah. up to the trapper yeah, now. Don't sure. even try to tell me when you realize it goes from 19 to 20. No, it goes from 20 to 19. It goes, of course it goes 20 to 19. Yeah, but the you commenters might it. think you're like being like, oh my God, he's level 19. He's so powerful. I take no responsibility for my audience. <laughs> <laughs> and that is your problem. I take responsibility for your audience, honestly. Yeah, oh, me too. You want to. You could leave your friends behind. What if we are his audience? <laughs> you know, did you know that men at work, the safety dance guys, they're Canadian? Uh, oh my god. Every fucking time. Everybody's Canadian. Hold up, Mattis, don't kill me. I'm going to look this up. Why does everyone got to be Canadian well, all the time? I mean, Gee all right. Whiz. Men it was just America Day yesterday. Can we just leave it alone? Just be you American. God. They're actually, uh, they're actually Australian. <laughs> 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 the newsletter lied. Like Canadian and Australian or just straight up Australian? What is Canadian Australian? Well, they moved from Australia to Canada and then they live there. No, they're they're from Australia. Oh, okay. They're Australian Americans. Are they actually? Canadian Australian? So they know a thing or two about Border Patrol. This is bullshit. So far, so good. No, Real. not so far, so good. It's pretty bad, yeah. Bear, I think you, you juked me. No, this shit would have happened if you were just Claudette Morel. <laughs> survivor found, survivor found, survivor found. Yeah. You're in close proximity. Look closer. <laughs> <laughs> I Turn around. Back. He's right behind you. Listen, why have good game mechanics when you can just have a text pop up that says survivor found? <laughs> we're just like flaming this game now. While we're it's a it. bad game that's fun to play with friends. <laughs> oh, this is a... I if I was in like... a position of like being forced to play this game with people I don't like, I would probably find this very annoying very quickly. Mm. Yeah, that's fair. For that, no man, we're not friends. We just network. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all actually hate each other. Yeah, we just do this for the views. Oh, okay. Wow. Well, you even? I'm like... only in it for the views. <laughs> yeah, Establish yeah, that. Yeah, I won't repeat what one guy called me the other day. Yeah, what are you going to say, Bear? You. It's a rude word. Do you, where where do I show up on your wall hacks? Am I like, <laughs> what's the symbol for me? Don't even start that rumor. It's just a wall hack perk. It's a wall hack perk, right? <laughs> <laughs> Mathis, which would you rather have, a wall hack or a lag switch? Ooh, it's tough. Or Is a it widow <laughs> Standbyers used to ruin my whole life, man. Mm-hmm. You played a lot of a lot of Halo. Played a lot of Halo. Those guys that would take their fucking this router switch. Yeah, I'm not liking my current position right now. Which is being bear. chased. If someone's close, they can save bear. You know who's I close? Mean, the person I'm chasing. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, fuck it. Oh, there's a trap, and, and it did the trap uncover. All right, well, hey. <laughs> Wave to bear. Okay. See you later, bear. I got a, I got an axe in the spine. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> not our best game. That's not looking great. Excuse me, can you move so I can actually unhook him? <laughs> oh, the body blocks never stop. <laughs> right. Even the killer's body blocking me now. <laughs> I did one that to you and it got you killed that one time. I'm gonna go right into this trap, I think. No, you are, and I'm on the ground. <laughs> All right, well, I guess I'm gonna be back on this hook, uh, prepare for space bars. Yeah. Don't go anywhere, so Ryan. Much fun over there. I might join you all. <laughs> Exquisite.
I'm thinking about going over. <laughs> yeah, you might as well at this point, really. Yeah, he's setting up a trap uh, feet. You know what it is? It's like... Mathis is no longer operating out of emotion or fear. He's just a m methodical machine at this point. <laughs> it actually, like... I just want his role as the killer to end as soon as possible. So <laughs> chance. It's effectively when it's coming. Yeah, you, you can't kill anymore. All right. Yeah. You're too good of a murderer. This is, it's, it's the Rocket League situation all over again. It is, yeah. We created really... a skill discrepancy that, that undermines the entertainment. <laughs> but I'm having fun! <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, at least that happened. <laughs> Did you get stuck in the trap? No. Oh, okay. No, I disabled it instead of got him down. I heard this the snap go off. Yeah. Oh god, you hook escaped onto the bear trap. Shut up, man! <laughs> oh, oh, god. Who dad? You heard the snap and thought it was Nick trying to rescue Rob. Oh. I, I actually, yeah, you're right, Ryan. You you got out. Made it. Oh, the escapes. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> it was a good idea, I suppose. Well, I can't run away because you'll track me to the ends of the earth. So I have to <laughs> take a stand at some point. Yeah. And hope that he just didn't see me go behind that tree. Use your flashlight right. on him. Ryan is no one. way coming for you. I don't want him to. I want this to be over so he yeah. can not have you as the killer. All right, all right. No. Way to make me feel like shit. All right, all right. <laughs> just paying it forward. <laughs> all you need is a secret door, Ryan. I don't know what the secret door is. How does the secret door work? I don't even understand that. It's mechanic. randomly generated on the map. And once and there's appears. only one person left, it's uh, it's um, it just flings open. Ah. Uh, yeah, so but, you can find it before everyone's dead, but you can only leave when only one person is alive. Uh, yeah. okay. Which is why I'm like, okay. kill yourself, so because I usually find the secret door that way, and I can get out. In the event that you do want to try for generators, I had one that was three quarters done. Yeah, that's the one I got to okay. open the trap door, but. You know what? Just I'm just gonna be. Just meet me at the lights. <laughs> <laughs> Which lights? There's a lot of them. There's like three lights that are on. All right. Go towards the moon. Conditional surrender. Pretty much. <laughs> Listen. Never give up, Ryan. You if gotta you get him to agree that you'll you'll surrender. He's just gotta kill you mercifully. That's what I was thinking. If you just like shoot me. <laughs> Cut off his head in one motion. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you somehow end up like facing us, hitting us in the head more often than you're yeah. hitting us from behind. It's just, uh, it's just seeing which way you're running and then leading to cut you off. He's not even wiggling. I'm not yeah. wiggling. I want it to be okay. You want me to find the secret door and give you a little Dan, give you a little. No, exit? there's a hook. Okay, now I'm gonna wiggle. <laughs> I'm not gonna let you style on me here. That's <laughs> Offensive, honestly. <laughs> Those sleeves are so wrinkled. Mathis yeah. is a prick. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get into a three-point contest and get mad at Steph Curry for taking a giant shit all over me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he just, he just like won't show up next year. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, just gonna stay at home with my family instead. There's better uses of my time. Are you I'll saying I'm no longer invited news. to play this game, or I'm only allowed to play Survivor? Hey everybody, thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> oh, apathy. <laughs> I, I am so dreading putting this video up. Thanks guys so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye guys.